I'm Daniela, and I'm here to present Devington on behalf of Jolson Architects and Interiors. Uh, Devington is a heritage project that uh, incorporated an extension and renovation. The uh, heritage listing is a uh, A2 class heritage, which protected the front facade uh, of the project, uh, as well as having a significant um, garden and uh, being situated in a garden setting. The other um, item that related to heritage uh, was the, the lack of uh, a, a garage as part of the original design. The garage that's there was a garage that was added as um, an element during a prior um, renovation, uh, but heritage and council's feedback was uh, the intent to uh, limit the, that sense of um, car parking to the entry space. The, the project um, was, um, I think the client came to us um, due to our, um, our approach to projects of seamlessly connecting um, interiors, architecture and landscape. And they had lived in this house prior and they'd bought it off uh, the family who had actually originally built the, uh, the house. Uh, it was the, the son of the original owner um, that um, the, the client brought it off. And, Originally, they had intended to demolish the project and during the process of them um, purchasing the property and deciding to proceed with works, uh, the, there was a heritage um, listing placed on the, on the property. But rather than uh, the, the client um, changing the, um, the intent to develop the project, uh, they decided to uh, really engage with the heritage and part of uh, our approach was really focusing and ce celebrating uh, the heritage uh, and the, the addition uh, added to the project really focused on, um, on the heritage um, key features and um, replicating those in a contemporary way. Part of the original design which the client in living there um, really had um, strong uh, um, strong um, reasons to change the, the way that the project was laid out meant that the, the rear of the property that opened out to the existing garden was essentially the service area of the home. The type of um, project that this previously was separated service areas to areas that were lived in and inhabited by the previous occupants. And the family being a young um, family with um, a family of five, I really wanted to reconnect with that garden, both um, to the front of the property and to the rear of the property. Part of uh, our approach was touching the front facade in a very minimal way, which was in line with the, the guidelines of, of heritage. We reinstated a fence rather than um, having a garage there that was not in line with the original intent of um, the, by the original architect. And the client did invest in um, a, a lift-up driveway, um, which meant that they could um, explore the, the basement um, below without um, compromising on the heritage um, intent. To the rear of the property, uh, the windows and the connection to the garden were really minimal, partly because of the cladding and the layout of the house, but also um, uh, partly because the, the size of the windows and the orientation of the house didn't really connect with um, the north aspect. Uh, and our approach was to, to reconnect with that garden in a much more open way. The demolition to the rear was um, quite different to the approach to the front. And while we um, retained the key feature um, being um, to, the, to the right of the image there, the elements um, to, the, to the other side of the property uh, were removed um, in, a, in a more severe way, um, but what was reinstated um, really focused on replicating the key features of what the heritage um, had um, in its original intent. Part of the process did include um, removal and retaining and reuse of the roof tiles and the bricks and using those um, in the new design. 
you can see the extent of the demolition there. We did remove um, internal floors. So while the extent of demolition is shown there more significantly, part of that was to install hydronic um, heating below the floor, given that those front rooms were quite um, cold and dark rooms. So the insertion there, the uh, area that, uh, that was the new extension included replicating that roof line that was a prominent feature of the front, but also the rear facade. It reused the roof tiles um, and the, the bricks and um, replicated the patterning and the detail. And a really key feature was bringing those also into the more contemporary insertion to the, to the ground floor that has the angles uh, to, the, to the elements of the suffete and the walls that continue in the same material from internal to external, which emphasise that connection between internal spaces and the garden uh, and spaces beyond. You can see in the plan there how those angles become, um, the, the planning and the design and the, the wall layouts, the angles are influenced by the, the heritage architecture that, that existed. The patterning of the windows, the roof lines, those elements were taken throughout the architecture um, but also um, through some of the interior detailing as well. The wall um, that returns into the splashback is angled, which uh, references um, the angles of, of the architecture. The patterning of the, the uh, joinery and wall panelling uh, is influenced by the patterning of the lead light windows, uh, which are present throughout the project. The plan... Um, of the, the layout of the rooms, the front existing rooms, essentially um, became similar functions of what they previously would, um, would have been, a living area, a dining area. And we opened up some of the connections between those rooms to create spaces that interconnect, interconnected. We reorientated the stair uh, so that it created a, a more of an entry space, but also made the rooms um, connect without feeling like they were in such a corridor space that they were previously. The new insertion at the rear is where the family spends the majority of their, their time living as a family and having that north aspect, the connection to the garden, the connection to the pool area um, was really important to them. Some of the elements that were present there as part of the interior, um, while they weren't protected by heritage, we really did celebrate those items uh, and bring through, that, um, through those elements in the, in the new design and the layouts internally. The, uh, to to minimise the impact um, to the front facade, as I mentioned earlier, having the basement um, connect via um, an operational door that then allowed the, the ramp down to the um, garage to go under the pool area uh, into an area that sat um, below that and below the garden space so it didn't compromise the garden and the garden space the sense of garden. And the upstairs area included the extension of the master bedroom under the roof line, which followed through on those angles and the detailing that was present throughout the rest of the project. Thank you for your